a lot happening at one time. A lot of a lot of business owners, um, you know, have some adversity at that time. But I'm sure you didn't have any adversity. Everything was easy from from there. No, you had adversity at China. Yes. Well, if you were a mom realtor and maybe some dad realtors. I feel like you don't know adversity until you've locked yourself in a closet having a conversation with a client while your kid is like banging on the closet door. Mommy, mommy. You know, that was my life for a while. So to be able to have some somebody that would watch the kids completely so I can focus on work, it was life changing. Okay. And then so, uh, then yeah, no, that's some, yeah, no, that's, um, I think we've all, I think everyone, mom <laughs> realtors and dad realtors have dealt with that. So you go into the, the our, my, my secret safe place is the bathroom. Yeah. The, I'm in the bathroom. You know, the, you're supposed to respect that. You're supposed to respect the bathroom. Right. <laughs> in the bathroom on the phone. Right. Yeah, pretty much. So, okay. So then we've got a team of, at this time, um, two buyer's agents, one TC, yeah. yourself. And, and was your husband at this time yet getting involved in operations or not just yet? He was, uh, he was helping to decide where sh we should spend the Zillow dollars. So okay. he would figure out what zip codes, he's very analytical. So um, he would figure out what zip codes perform the best and what, how much we should spend on each. So that was kind of what he was doing. Okay. So coming in tact mm -hmm. tactical. Yes. Yes. Very tactical. He did that. And then he would also um, help coordinate lectures with the medical school and, and things like that. So he would you know, he would help me know who to reach out to. I did all of it. He would just say, you should talk to so-and-so, you should talk to so-and-so, and that's when I did. Okay, cool. And then, so then at what point did we, when did you make, when did you see your next, so you were at 60, did you stay in that 60 range for a while, or when did you see your next next big jump, or next big jump, either next big group of hires, yeah. or next, or was that, co did that coincide with your next big jump in business? So we got to those two buyer agents that I added, and then one left pretty quickly. And so then I had to hire somebody else. So we just kept staying at a team of about four for a while. And we would do around 60 to 70 transactions per year. And so um, then when I, you know, as I increased the team, once I got up to five agents, I saw that we could get closer to 100. And then my focus turned to more, I want to work on individual agent productivity. And that is what I want to work on to this day. That's how I feel like I can grow a team of eight, nine agents to do what they want to do with real estate is if I can get each of them to do two transactions a month, I'll help them create a nice, repeatable, scalable business. So mm. that's my goal. I want them to do at least two a month. So if you could get some more than that. And, and, and so that 24... That was kind of a sweet spot. One, an agent to do 24 transactions in a year. Yeah. Okay. And so, and it sounds like you're, you're right there with your yeah. numbers. We're yeah, right, right there with our numbers. So, you know, we're close to that. I'd like to, you know, I tell my team, I'm like, well, Jesus had 12 people. So maybe we need a couple more. <laughs> right. We need a couple more. So we've got eight right now. I'd love to have a team of, you know, no more than 12 because, I just like knowing all my team members. I like knowing what their families are like and what their finances are like and what they need from our team. Um, so I don't want to grow big. I like having a small, high-producing team. And keeping the personal touch, yeah. too. I mean, the culture some... is big to us. Like we, you know, talk to each other about non-real estate things. So I'll just call and be like, hey, what's up? I haven't seen you in a couple of days. You've been out showing houses. So... You know, I just, I just love everybody on my team and, you know, we, we love to be together and have fun together. That's awesome. So, yeah. um, and so my, my next question is, uh, there was, I'm sure there had, there had been some, some significant adversity in that time period. Yeah. Um, I reckon I have some big adversity. So everybody knows in 2020 that the whole world had adversity. So I had a team in 2020 that quit. Like everybody quit because it was almost impossible to build culture in 2020. You know, you can come into the office. One of our agents was actually immune compromised, so she couldn't be around other people. And um, so we weren't together. We weren't connecting. We didn't Zoom here and there. Um, but it just, you know, there was no bond. There was no connection. So basically my whole team left in 2020. I was in tears. I told my husband, I can't do this anymore. 
like people come and go and real say my heart is broken every time that I get connected with people and then they leave um, for, you know, some other job opportunity or whatever. I'm like, if I do this again, I'm building people that I love that will never leave. And so, you know, that's my goal. Like when I bring people on now. So um, in 2020, at the end, I started hiring one person and that really changed things. And then 2021, I found another team member that I really loved who reached out to others. So since the beginning of 2021, I've just really been focused on building a team of people that can be loyal to each other, that um, we really care about each other, know about each other. So we're at eight now. You know, so like the right, year. the right team member is, yes. is important. But literally, it was like even my transaction coordinator like left in 2020. So. Oh, so did now? Did, so okay. So what does it like me back to back to this and back to the solo agent? Yeah. Now, did did any of those team members have been you know come back or or? No. Okay, so you move. So you move. So it sounds like you moved on bigger and better. I though I mean, everything better. happens for a reason. I, I, everything happens for a reason. I am so much happier now than I've ever been in my whole real estate career. And it's because I'm surrounded by people that I love. Like, that is 100% the reason. And so I hope they never leave. I'll be really devastating. You're right. <laughs> I'm sure they will. What, what, what would you say to, you know, to the, the aspiring agent out there or the aspiring small business person? Because, you know, Real estate just happens to be, you know, the business that, or one of the businesses, mm-hmm. one of the businesses that, that we're in. But um, some of the principles, it doesn't matter whether it's real estate or, or, or a different business. What would you say to the young business person out there that's um, got three kids, one on the way, you know, raising, trying to raise a family, trying to start a business? Like, how, what, what would you say to that person that could that can't even imagine just like you couldn't even yeah. imagine being where you are now right. with 200 transactions 100 million dollars in business from four transactions mm-hmm. what would you say to that person to keep them going to you know that like just how would you how would you encourage that person well i just i think hard work is essential in this business so and, um, you know, showing up and doing the work is so important. I've got agents that have come through the team that show up a couple minutes late to a meeting and then they do this and that to somebody who is really aspiring to make a difference in their clients' lives and on their team. You have to show up before you're supposed to show up. You have to go above and beyond. Um, and you can do that with children. Your schedule's going to look different. So, you know, when my kids were little, I really had to, I couldn't wake up earlier than them because they woke up at like 5.30. So that was out of the question. But when you put them to bed, you just have to do other work. And the 100% answer to that question is you have to be on a team. You have to have a village around you that is going to help you get through that hard phase of life.